board uphold the decision of the chief to dismiss Mount Cosgrove. Motion's carried. It's a decision Metro Councilwoman Paula McCraney agrees with. Tonight's decision should say to the public and to the officers of LMPD that policies and procedures are in place for a reason. And that when policies and procedures are violated, then there's consequences. McCraney helped form the new Civilian Review Board. She says it's all about following policy and giving due process, and she's glad the Merit Board did that. Antonio Taylor is on the Civilian Review Board. I do feel like this is definitely a win for the community, and this can provide some hope that, um, that you know, we are looking at policy being followed, that officers are going to be held accountable. The 5-2 Merit Board decision comes after four days of testimony, two this week and two last month. Much of the argument on both sides were about target identification and isolation. Cosgrove's attorney, Scott he Miller, argued LMPD job. didn't prove Cosgrove violated policy. He reasonably believed that there was a threat he reasonably believed that there was a target. Cosgrove himself took the stand Tuesday and spoke about the immediate danger he felt he was under and in the end, regret. That muzzle flash and that, and that silhouette there, it's, it, it, it was, it's like it's burned into my mind, if that makes sense. It's, it's, it's so clear that I know that that's what that is. I mean, I can't explain to you how regretful and how much grief that it has caused me. McCraney says she hopes the decision tonight shows the public the importance of due process. She says people can look forward to that from the Civilian Review Board in January. I'm Bobby McSwine, WHAS 11 on your side.